Do you want to have some tips on OBS Studio and how to fix some certain stuff? In this video I'm going to show you, so go to the clip. So I'm going to show you some tips on docs on OBS. And it's really easy, actually. It's super easy. So I have, you guys see, I have chat on the right side and feed on the left side. So that you need to do to add these, this is docs. So what do you need to do is go up to the left side to view, to docs. And here we have some stuff. Like you see feed is my activity feed from stream elements. And my chat on the right side is the Twitch chat. So we maybe we can add some more stuff in here and also to custom stuff like OBS Live, the, the stream elements version. So we can actually, like you see, chat is removed. Go back and do chat again. Bam, so freaking easy, like the best thing ever. This helped me so much because I have like OBS and I have my chat on the right side and the feed under it, it was like, why? Just stupid. And to have these, it's helped me so much because I have everything on the same pro- Oh shit, the same program. Damn, I can't hit my microphone like that. So, but we maybe want to add more stuff. So go to docs, view docs, and maybe you have some stats, uh, like streaming stats, and you can add, maybe not the best one. We do go back to that. We maybe want to have stream stream information and we have it there so can do it longer so we maybe want to add it over here so you can do that i don't know why we want to do that uh, view docs we can go to twitch uh twitch stats i know i have not so many followers right now and subscribers doesn't really matter though if you want to follow me on Twitch, do that. The link is down below also. So if you want to have some fun on Twitch, you're welcome. But the thing is like here, you can add a lot of things in OBS just doing this. If you're connected to Twitch, I don't know about YouTube or Facebook though. Maybe they have some stuff there, but it's mainly Twitch right now. But the thing is like this, we can remove all these we can click it down and click it down. So we can add also some URL links, like say on custom browsers, docs, URLs. And you do that here. In my case, I have this activity feed from stream elements. So what you need to do is this. So we're gonna go to the browser. So we're on stream elements. I use stream elements. You can do this on stream uh, labs also, I think. So what we will need to do to add activity feed is go to the activity feed on the left side. Here we go. So what I do is do it need like a pop up window. You can do it here. So it's popping up here. And what you want to do is take the link, control C, can go click it down go back to OBS when we are here in OBS again like I have the feed I take feed test YouTube and control V and we can actually apply it here we go so I already had a feed but you guys understand what I mean so you can take it where you want really Maybe not the best place, but you can you guys understand what I mean with this. And you can also do stuff from Twitch. So we're gonna go to Twitch. So we're on Twitch on creditor dashboard, creator dashboard. So in here we can take stuff, and it's amazing actually. We can take the activity feed from Twitch if you want that instead. You can take chat. But OBS already have the chat though. You can take, let's see, you can take the buttons here, quick actions. So what you need to do is press the three dots, do so a pop-up window, take the 
link, control C again, you can close that down. So go to OBS again. When you're OBS again, you do like the same. Uh, we do quick uh, B, maybe, and control V, bam. You have the buttons, it's like great. And you can pre take it where you want, can kind of there, maybe. So it's an easy way, so you don't really need to go into Twitch to change everything. So it helps kind of a lot, actually. So I can recommend you guys tweaking this and see what you guys like. So that is Docs on OBS. So if you like the video, thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe to the channel and help me out. And let me know what you guys think about Docs and OBS or certain stuff. So let me know down in the comments. And I'm always also streaming on Twitch. So if you want to go in there, you're welcome. So see you next time. Bye.